The freehand tool can push or pull selected areas of the head. While the concept is fairly straightforward, it's not easy to achieve the desired effect. First, we set the range via the slider and increase or decrease as needed. Don't forget to click on the mirror box, otherwise we get one-sided effects. Here we are creating a double chin and do it in two steps. If we don't like the results, we can always use the multi undo button. Once we are satisfied with our work, we can export the head or choose to move on to the hair portion of the application.